What's up guys, Taylor back with a new episode of Stubble Tech, and as you can see going all the way back to the iPhone 4, I'm addicted to white and silver iPhones. So today we're going to be unboxing the, you guessed it, silver iPhone 7. Let's go ahead and get started. Last year I picked up the 64GB iPhone 6S and I thought that was the perfect storage size, but Apple seemed to disagree and did away with it, so this year I got the 128GB model. We're no longer going to need the bat knife to unbox iPhones since Apple has taken their pull tab fetish to a whole new level this year. I will admit though the plastic comes off super easy. As we take a quick look at the box you can see the back of the iPhone 7 is right here on the front. On the side, iPhone is written in a new thicker font, and down here on the bottom, there is an Apple logo that will match the color of the iPhone that you picked up. Let's go ahead and lift the lid, and you'll notice we're no longer greeted with the iPhone itself, but a literature packet instead. Inside the package, we're going to get a new Welcome to iPhone Quick Start Guide, and more importantly, Apple stickers, complete with new frosted plastic. Next up, we have the iPhone 7 itself. I really like the cleaner design of this year's model. The antenna lines being gone are a big improvement in the looks department, and I actually kind of like the new camera hump. I'm still hoping we see a complete redesign next year for the 10th anniversary of the iPhone, but who knows. Let's pull off the plastic and see if we can get some good new tech plastic sounds. Not bad. And the front. On the back of the device, you can see the new camera hump, and I really actually like the way it looks. As I said earlier, the antenna lines have also been cleaned up a lot, and it makes the phone look a lot more streamlined. One thing I'm very excited for on the iPhone 7 is the new capacitive home button. Gone is the old physical home button, and it's been replaced with a fake button of sorts, similar to the Magic Trackpad 2 or the trackpads you see on MacBooks. This helps with two things, the less moving parts on tech the better, and those old buttons would wear out and get sticky over time. Let's set the iPhone to the side and see what else we have in the box. We're going to get a standard Apple wall charger and some brand new lightning ear pods since the headphone jack is no longer around. These will just plug into the lightning port of your iPhone, or you can use Bluetooth headphones. Apple also includes a lightning to 3.5 millimeter dongle, what a great word, if you want to use other headphones. They also let you know how to plug in your dongle with great instructions. Thank you, Apple. The last thing in the box is the thing that's going to be juicing up your iPhone, a lightning cable. I have some mixed thoughts about this phone, so after some time with it, I will do a full review. But I'm going to go ahead and wrap this video up. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I really appreciate your support. If you enjoyed the video, go ahead and leave it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Stay tuned for a really cool giveaway I have coming soon, and I will see you guys in the next video.